Hello, little introduction. Pour myself a cup of coffee. But um, I'm Leroy. I'm the guy that most people are, or a lot of people see me around in Beacon with dogs. I've actually been handling dogs, working with dogs for over 14 years, right here where I've been. I guess the only difference now is, one of the big differences, in the last eight years I had two hip replacements. So for, I want to say eight, nine years, I've been walking around in a lot of pain. So I guess the pain is gone. You know, I'm still having some complications, but I'm, out, I'm able to move around, so you're gonna, you're gonna see me more. And um, uh, as far as dogs, you know, dogs, I've, I've been uh, through quite a, quite a places, quite a few places learning what I know. And I'm still learning what I knew before I started this quest. But um, let me talk to you about certifications. Um, I've been to you know, quite a few places, getting certified in different places. But I do want to warn people about one thing. There are, there are places where people can be certified dog trainers, never owning a dog and never touching a dog. So listen to that clearly. You can be a certified dog trainer and never own or touch a dog. You can do an online course, you can get your certificate and everything and call yourself a dog trainer. I want to say I'm not one of them. But um, yeah, it's Petco. I'm running into a lot of people that brought their dogs to Petco. I've been running into a lot of people that brought their dogs to other places. And I want to say the common denominator is a lot of it's pure positive training and they don't want to tell the people that they can say no to their dog. Um, cookies and, you know, getting a dog to do things for cookies. Yeah, I do that in some of my training too. In the beginning, it's, it's pure positive. There's no correction base in the beginning. But somewhere along the line, you have to have, hold the dog accountable for the actions he doesn't take that he knows. If you don't put that into the equation, the dog finds out quickly, hey, I don't want this treat you're offering, right, offering me right now. That squirrel or that dog looks more appealing to me. I'm going for the dog. So what do you do then? Do you turn your back and oh, just forget about that beha bad behavior and have it go away? No, once you teach the dog, then the dog can be held accountable. So the pe people that tell me, oh, the, the dog is under my feet all day, I can't get anything done. If you don't practice what you want the dog to do, how are you ever gonna get it outside in the real world? So when you see me have these dogs doing a sit, doing a down, and I can walk away, that's because it's practiced. It's because it's practice. And um, I go on a little bit of a rant, just a little bit. For the pinch collars, pinch collars and e-collars. Pinch collars, e-collars, one of the greatest tools out there if you use them properly. I want to say first, a e-collar does not train your dog to do anything, not a damn thing. You have to teach the dog what it is you want it to do and pair it with the e-collar. Um, pinch collars. If you're wearing, using a pinch collar on a dog and you're slipping it over the dog's head like that, like a necklace, no, wrong. Stop it. Find a trainer, have them fit the dog at least for, I'll fit the dog for nothing. But if you put this over the dog's head, that's not how it's meant to be used. It's meant to be used just, be, uh, just behind the dog's ears. So for some dogs with a lot of fur, you would want to pull the fur down and work this up so you can get it right behind the ears. That's where it's supposed to be worn. And again, if you just put one of these on a dog and just start yanking it, I don't like you. <laughs> you have to teach the dog how to operate it. You have to teach the dog everything in life. You bring this dog into your world, into your life, and all you want to do is correct him when he does something you didn't want him to do, you have to show him what you want him to do first. When he knows what to do first, then you can hold him accountable. I don't put a pinch collar on any dog and just correct them. No. First thing I do with a pinch collar on, I put it on and I teach the dog how to relieve the pressure when they feel the end of it. 
So if you're not doing that one little part, you can have a dog, which I see, you know, daily. Blue, leave him alone. He's, he's learning. You're going to have a dog, you put a pinch collar on, and he starts pulling. If you start walking with him with, with, while he's pulling, that's what he gets used to. This means nothing at that point. Nope. Except that if you want, to, if you have to correct them, it's going to have to be a you know correction based at that point. First, teach him how to use it. So nope, Max. So this is him getting ready to make a mistake, and I have to remind him. Nope. Oh boy. So yeah, um, this is who I am, Leroy from Beacon. Um, I have a lot of people calling me up lately. It's like they never knew I I, I train dogs. Yes, I train dogs. And uh, one last little thing, over the summer we had, um, we had a seminar. I go to a lot of seminars with some of the best trainers that most people don't even hear about. So we had a seminar in Poughkeepsie and we were quite a few other dog trainers up there. And the dog trainer that hosted the event, he, he came out with a dog that he had for a week. And he couldn't control the dog and the dog was on a pinch collar doing helicopters and things like that. Um, long story short, this person is doing board and trains. He's, he's charging twice as much as what I'm charging. I came out of the box charging what everyone else is charging. And for me, it comes so easy, it was hard for me to charge people money. So that's why I don't advertise. I, I, I'm, I'm starting to understand, yes, I am worth every penny that I'm charging. But... Some of the trainers out here, I want to go back to that before, you know, they're, they're doing what they're told to do or trained to do, but some of them just don't have the ability that they should be having to charge that kind of money. So I, I, want, I want to cut that short right there. I don't want to get any too far into it. But this is, this is um, directed toward the local people. Um, I'm very good with dogs, not so good with people. Um, so when you see me working the dogs, I don't, you know, I, I love to perform for people, but, you know, it, it's just my makeup, who I am. It seems like I'm unapproachable. When I'm having some dogs, you know, no, I don't want people coming up when I have the, the wrong dogs. But yes, I want to be, talk, you know, you can talk to me. You can, you know, first ask me if it's okay. I can put the dogs in a sit or whatever, and I'll give you information, you know, till the cows come home. But other than that, um, I'll, I'll elaborate on some of this stuff later. So this is Leroy, the Beacon Dog Trainer.